Are you looking to fill your belly with more than gruel and steak? Are you sick of eating handfuls of bugs? Oh mind, it is a fairly decent way to get along. Maybe you're even looking for a buff or two to compete against the others, or to give yourself a little bit of an edge in PvE. There's a lot of to cooking in this game. Maybe you've discovered it through the journey step, or you've been playing for a while and you know a thing or two. There are a lot of recipes, some more beneficial than others, and today I'm going to lead you through specifically just the cooking and brewing recipes. I have another video with all the recipes in the game, well most of the recipes in the game, but today we're focusing just on cooking and some of the hidden recipes that they don't so much tell you about. One of the first journey steps you're going to come across is survivor and that's basically going to lead you through the very first elements of learning how to cook. That's essentially going to lead you to this chef journey step. Doing this is going to again teach you a bit more of the basics to how to cook. It's kind of good how they've done that but in saying that you're quite limited to what you can cook with these. Unlocking stove will teach you a couple of your basic meals, soups which are the backbone to most things and purified water which is the backbone to soups, a couple of spicy bits to get you by and a couple of mere snacks. Nothing too fancy, nothing that's going to give you buffs really but it'll get you by. There's hidden recipes all over the map and we're going to start with number one. Now this is a twofer because there's two recipes here but you want to make your way to the summoning place, this nice lovely red eye if you've discovered it already ready journey pass the og pit and all that up to this little plateau you're gonna find yourself one and six. This is a very important recipe to come get straight away because it's going to give you corrupting brew which is essential if you're using sorcery, spicy bits, and salted pork which gives you a strength buff which is awfully nice as well. These recipes you need to make um, for bone broth you need for yog feasts which you need to unlock the yog religions. I'll go into that all a little bit later but you also need it for that and hearty feasts are a fairly decent meal as well. For some reason there's no sequence to the order of these guys. They're just plopped all over the place but we're going to follow them in a bit of an order because I didn't really oh you're right puppy in the last one sorry about my dog wrestling if you can hear that uh so yeah we're going to follow them in a bit more of a like from one through to ten and then go through the brewing and then the religious space etc etc this is where religious uh, where recipe number two is with quite an intense little story that I'm going to read because it's quite funny these highlands chill me to the bones I would much prefer the warm comforts of lux or brothels back home in Stygia as if the climate was not enough. The uncultured brutes here have no appreciation of cuisine and I've been thrown out of the nearby village when suggesting that a diet consisting mostly of raw mammoth flesh and beer would not be healthy in the long run. A curse upon them. May their ears turn into assholes and shit all over their shoulders. At least they allowed me to pack up my belongings including my book of recipes. Like that went to zero to a thousand real quick. Um, I think it's quite funny. I only ever read it for the first time during my other recipe guide. Used to come touch this all the time. But yeah, he's strong with the curses. But moving along. Our location is just south slightly of Sky Home Rooms, which is right near Godbreaker. Godbreaker? Godclaw Passage, where all the iron is. Unfortunately, and um north of the ruins of Old Nabatu, or whatever it's called in the den. This here, it doesn't have its own name. You gotta climb up the temple. I like to climb up this little bit here because it kind of juts out. Easiest way up, I find. This is going to teach you Elo soup and some other random stuff. Some berry juice. Berry juice is okay because squish berries. Kind of expensive. Not as bad as it used to be, but not as good as it used to be before that. Anyway, on to the next one. Head on over to mounds when you're kind of in the area, I suppose. It's a little bit of a dip over here, but you want to come over to mounds of the dead. There's a couple of recipes here. We are going to hit up two different little mound areas. First one is where I'm at currently. Loud bangs in the distance. Everyone is also going to attack you. I'm in cloaked if I didn't specify that earlier. So just here on this table, you can touch this recipe and get specialist cooking. Oh, which means three is the other one. We're pretty much touching them in order. I'll go through them once I've touched three. From here, look out for some decent named thralls at this location as well. You can get a shield right and a tempersmith here. Tempersmith? Bladesmith. That one. Kinda going the long way. And in this little mound, I often find Delincia over there. Just here. 
You can find Specialist Cooking 3, another little story. I didn't read the other story. They're not as funny as that first story. I've read them all before. Bugger it, I'll read it again. Despite the hostile creatures roaming the hills and mountains, I have managed to convince my brother to accompany me on the hunt for food. He is almost 13 now and must learn the ways of the warrior sometime. Today is a good day as any. I have my father's notes about what ingredients to gather and we will set out while the sun is still high in the sky. This one is also fairly important if you're using sorcery like the bat of Nurgle where you need to corrupt yourself and then not be not corrupt because you get the cleansing brew from here so you can carry those around in your pocket and get uncorrupt quite easily. Meaty mashups are fairly decent meal not as good as it used to be because they ruin everything but it's quite cheap just costs raw feral flesh and raw steaks and um, yeah it's pretty decent. Uh, spicy teas and herbal teas the backbones to get a lot of adventures and stam regens and all of that and then we have this one with exquisite stew being quite a good heal as well as it thirst thing. Trail jerky lasts a really long time and savory jerky gives you something. I'm gonna have to look that up in a second. And salted exquisite meat gives you uh, added agility bonus if you're using daggers or short swords and things like that. I dare say it's health but let's see it could be nothing. It's got exit creative mode. It is health and I unlocked a new journey step. How bizarre. Oh maybe because I just exited. Yeah never mind. Now I'm gonna need you to head all the way back over to the other side of the map. It's still up in the north. We're heading just underneath the northern aqueduct at a place called Trapper's Gabin. I haven't unlocked it yet on this playthrough. But right here on the bench you can find Cooking 5. A couple of dudes here, a little saucer inside, some boxes to judge, etc, etc. Some baby wolves about. Hardy Stew is a fairly decent heal. Demon blood sausages are whatever they are. Both of these, Rhino Head Soup and Lasting Feast, give you the same encumbrance and Lasting Feast being substantially easier to craft than Rhino Head Soup. So I don't know why that's a thing. They didn't used to both give you encumbrance, only Rhino Head Soup and then, I don't know, they do weird choices. And Spice slivers which is a kind of cheap spicy meal worth coming here if you want to make some of the religious feasts as well you can check out my other video for the all the religious locations if you do not know their whereabouts uh you can learn mitra while you're here religious feasts are pretty good i prefer to use feast of yoga because it's the cheapest but right here at muriel's hope i haven't uh, yeah i have covered it little oasis you're gonna find a half water built statue of mitra a couple of little emoji things to touch along the way all the way up the top here a little bit hard to miss you're gonna find cooking seven this wretched heat it spells meat faster than she might runs from battle my search for the essence of pure flavor brought me here but i fear nothing can be learned from this scorching hell what tidbits i have managed to learn i have written down on the back of this journal some useful than others some more useful than others well then uh i advise don't jump down in there it's a little bit hard to get out again most of these are fairly useless so i guess the note is really implying they're fairly useless <laughs> if you happen to be in the neighborhood i guess continuing on with the theme of useless recipes head on down to the tower of bats because they're running you all across the land probably don't touch these in sequence it's much easier to like touch the ones that you're either near or kind of the ones that are also in the area like i'd probably touch the one over at Leon's rest that we're about to get to Leon's rest Leon's watch that we're about to get to soon like when you yeah they make no sense but anyway we're doing it in their order come on down to tower of bats this used to also be a journey step it is no longer because i don't know you, you go and defeat the dregs guy and then you put his ear of epinipidum in here and it opens a little portal to nowhere and you need his albino demon blood that's a video for another time though this is where I die. Bridge collapsed shortly after I arrived here, and there is no way down except for the short way. However, it is better than starving to death. It is the height of the little. It is the height of irony that I came here, foraging for bird eggs, stave of starvation. Do hate that. Cooking level eight again, kind of whatever. You you can fully live without it. Now for recipe nine, back on up to Leon's watch. I do find this one quite handy, so it is fairly worthy to come get. And you can find a fairly decent Nordheimer fighter here, as well as a couple of other forms of things. You may have priests and stuff. 
I think there was another spawn of a guy. But anyway, right here. I have been attempting to scavenge for more mushrooms in the area, but have found none. I bought my notes so that I could show my companions the pictures of which mushrooms to forage. Last night, I bought a red speckled one that I have not seen before. I have made some notes on potential uses for it, but I will not be the first to try them out. That is wise, because that sounds like Amanita muscaria, which is definitely a psychedelic mushroom and... Do not consume mushrooms that you are unsure of because you could die. So that's wise. Um, hug -a -a. Uh, that is going to teach us some of my favorite recipes. We have roasted mushrooms, which is incredibly cheap, uh, with just one puffball and one amanita to make raw will food or just the snacks for your own pocket if you're just using it for food and not actually heals and things. And then we also have Samarium Feast, which gives you a health buff, which we love. Now we're heading on over to the jungle. This is the only recipe of its nature in this area so apart from learning to get over here somewhere which will also give you a recipe if you did not learn that straight away but again aside from learning yog who's like here meh Although they could buff all the other ones one day. So you never know what's one day going to be amazing. So it is good to touch everything. This particular camp is a good one to come thralling if you live at the jungle. Yes, there are only two. But one is a shitty fighter that is very easy to kill. And one can be an anything crafter. So you can find name dudes here and it's quite nice to come grind easily. If you especially don't have much stuff to kill big camps and etc. On here the bench, if I could talk, you're going to find cooking recipe 10. High and low have I searched for the ultimate flavor and yet i am still not found it these pages are what i leave behind some legacy at the very least my culinary experiments will not be in vain others can learn from them my dyslexia is doing okay tonight i like that i haven't messed up too much especially with some of these crazy words cook pork feast is a very nice heal of passive regen and all of that that does food and water but you need a fair bit of stuff to cook it you need to make some meat you need to make some cooked pork strips it would make a lot more sense if this was like somewhere in Nordheimer land whatever if you have nudity you can see extended mail bits with the potion of endowment and get extra charisma for whatever that's worth and that's about it for that one now for brewing you basically don't need it unless you're playing with mods because getting drunk no longer gives you buffs and they might add it back in one day a couple of religious feasts and other feasts do require some brewing things so you do need like a couple of things but some of it comes base when you learn the first brewing thing anyway we'll get into that you want to come to dogs of the desert the den and on this little bench you're going to find a specialist brewing one goes from honeyed wine and absinthe absinthe is the other one i think you like immediately need of all the face of together but they may have changed their recipes now when you're coming to touch the obelisk at mount where if you've already been here to touch the first other recipes three and four you probably should cut, touch the obelisk while you're here but don't forget to look down and touch specialist cooking too berries and wine in all glory but when you need the strength of a bear and thunder in your heart nothing beats a good booze up again i think i've said it before but every australian ever has said that within these pages i've written down the recipes that i know for some of the most foul smelling bad tasting eye watering home brew booze i have ever had the misfortune of tasting these sumerians seem to enjoy them though here a sour drink for us sour people resin wine fire water and shroom beer fire water keeps spicy but then apparently so does everything super now anyway because lots of changes so oh. now the last specialist brewing is probably the only one worth getting anyway because it's it's the only one that gives you a buff although they're the same as food buffs they don't stack separately again i think they should just like the books whatever conan pvp is already kind of as crazy as it is but like think of the pve players i don't know uh come to the pirate ship the black galleon you will see this anchor we've got this place right here if you don't know where the black galleon is on the map uh you want to be down the bottom although you can get to it from the top you may have been to this location before and seen this hole and seen a little ghosty climbing up we're gonna even see the ghost climbing up anyway usually there's a ghost climbing up go up here this box has a likelihood to have a legendary in it mind it's not a good legendary it has um a couple of others that it cycles through like shark bites daggers and stuff it's pretty consistent there's a couple of others around the world that tend to have it like uh the wall with the neebs guy that speak to you and the box in the just at the entrance of the silver mine at dagon's descent over here Anyway, I digress. Now, it might look like this as far as you go, but you can keep going up. And then you think, oh, this is as far as I go. This is where you come to get all the thralls and the archpriests and whatnot. 
you can keep coming up to this very discreet place here another box to come get i'm gonna be able to touch it now that i've just found myself a truncheon as well a reinforced truncheon at that so it was pretty nice that can also be a uh, legendary weapon thing as well another little story to see what happened to this sad little man damned be his eyes i managed to get away with his chest even though dragging it up here was a nightmare the amount of nighttime building i had to do without trying to make a noise i feel that perhaps i can force it open somehow i know the recipe to the grog must be in here what in the seven hells? My key doesn't fit. Who knew the bastard would keep a false key in his quarters? The choke is on me, I suppose. Can't climb down from here now. I'd be put up in the hanging cages. Blow that. I'll stay here until I rot if it means Vlad doesn't get his blasted recipes back. Petty. Queen of Petty over here. Looks like you rot it, bruh. Um, if you click on it and you don't have the prerequisite recipe learned, I think it's just like unlocking brewing in general. I already have the item, so you get rum runner vlad's secret recipe unlock that and that's going to give you specialist brewing three and that's going to teach you desert grog desert rum jungle grog and jungle rum and i'll show you why they're a bit more special in just a sec it turns out desert rums be stinging desert grog is going to give you agility weapon damage 15 percent nothing agility weapon damage 15 percent and stamina 21 pretty decent while pirates are still in your mind make your way up to buccaneer bay and touch this little book on this table more crates washed ashore today silk cracked pottery jewels the usual booty the sea provides us with this time there were boxes with best prices to the likes of which i have never seen its zesty texture burns the throat but warms the body and brings out the sweat i'd better start cooking jamala will have me hung for making her wait now pirate cuisine's a little unique because you need to kill pirates to get their rare spice that only they drop you can't particularly craft it in any way like regular spice with an alchemist and bark and all that or in a grinder so it's going to give you this stuff and some of them they used to give you buffs i'm not 100 sure if they do anymore so you get to experiment with that but the spicy lasts longer and yeah they generally last longer speaking of shamala we can come learn stingy and alchemy off her that's going to teach us a recipe that gives us a potion that keeps us hot or cool at any time i've never particularly used it but in case you want it here it is the hermanence Alexa. And she's basically in the same spot, just up a little bit. That was where we were down there before. Oh, we're up here. This is basically the setup you're going to need to get your cooking done. We'll go into why you need all that stuff in a second. Obviously, a fireplace. You can also move these and place them on top. The benefits to having a large campfire over a bonfire. Bonfires have more inventory and take up a little bit less space, theoretically. But you can do all that. But mind, you can't then move that. Or if it gets destroyed, both of those are going to fall. But that is something you can do. In here, you've got your different types of fuel you can use. And if we press play, we're going to make porridge, which is using the plant fiber and the seeds or gruel or whatever. That's a common source of putting in thralls for increasing strength or taming in general. But it's also going to make blood sausage because we have blood in here. Now you might notice I also have leveling agent. That's not meant to be in here. It's about what I'm about to show you. But we can create some blood sausage with just blood as well in here which you can feed to saber cats for food or you also need it for making i think it's a piece of jebel sag which gives you underwater breathing so that's how you make that as well as the ability to be able to get eyes and fill flasks because you need water filled flasks to be able to make purified water which you need to make soup which you need the, for the base for like basically everything so you need a lot of water filled flasks and a way to get that quickly is to have an alchemist inside of one of these guys they're gonna craft it there for you you can use any old bench they'll just do that up or you get your cooking thing put your stuff in there and it's gonna fill it not to a very good rate but yeah or you can stand by water well and click it for a million years yay send storm this is very a lot going on here um you can dry stuff like fish and meats to make them last longer in your dryer as well as berries now you're going to get some seeds from drying fiber and things like that as well if you find lotuses you can dry them to get more seeds and then grow those seeds etc and things like that if you need berries you put them in here with some bark and it's also another way to make different snacks but the journey steps lead you through that fermentation barrel you need leveling agent and fiber most of the time 
as well as some purified water and whatever other ingredients you need. Go into this guy. If we add this, you don't actually need a fuel source when you've got fiber in there because it will use the fiber. We can make some bread. For some reason they changed the picture of the bread, make it look like spicy bread, but whatever. Uh, you don't actually want to do this and normally I have crafting times turned up so it'll use way more of your fiber than it's worth it, but that's how you make bread if you want to make feasts of ghetto or whatever it is that need bread. Also go around and learn all the religious teachers. You no longer need to have their individual shrines to craft their feasts like you used to have to have. You can now craft their feasts in here if you have their religion learnt. Very handy. I advise getting a cook as well. They're going to help out with speeds and give you extra recipes. Pretty nice. I have a couple of videos about thralls. Go check them out. If you found this information informative, do chuck up a like and a subscribe if you're not already subscribed because I got lots of viewers who come back and view a lot of my videos but aren't subscribed. I understand. I do that with a lot of channels myself but it does help out a bunch and yeah until next time I hope you guys have an excellent day evening night morning whatever it may be wherever you may be have a good one and I'll see you then bye